What's up guys, welcome to Homecraft Cocktails, cocktails you can make from the comfort of your home. My name is Briss, and for this week's cocktail, we'll be going over the Pimp's Cup. The Pimp's Cup originated in 1840s London as a health drink, combining mint-proof liquor with lemon, ginger, and fruit for a revitalizing cocktail. Its key ingredient, Pimm's number no. one, was created by London bar owner James Pimm. The cocktail gained popularity globally, especially in New Orleans and Wimbledon, as it was known for its cooling effect in hot weather. All in all, it's a pretty simple drink to make right at home, which makes it a perfect cocktail for our show. Now with that brief history lesson out of the way, let's get on to making the drink. So first, you're gonna start by adding ice to your highball or Collins glass. Next, we're gonna pour two ounces of our main ingredient, Pimm's number no. one, directly into our Collins glass. Uh, Pimm's number no. one is a 50 proof or 25% ABV liqueur. Uh, it is bittersweet, herbal, orangey, and mildly bitter, so it should pair well with uh, the fruits we're gonna use. Next, we're gonna add half of an ounce of lemon juice. And I already have two halves of lemon here from one of my previous cocktails I've made, so I'm just gonna use this, and hopefully that should be enough. Next, we're gonna to top with ginger ale, and then stir our Collins glass briefly. Then we're gonna garnish with a cucumber slice, a skewer strawberry, and a mint sprig. All right, so let's start off with this cucumber slice because um, my non-cooking ass is a little foreign to this concept of cutting cucumber. Never really done this before, so bear with me. I mean, that looks good enough to me, I would say. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's go with that, maybe. Oh yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Not too bad, not too bad. Then we're gonna stick a skewer, try to find a good one. I'll do that right there. Yep. And then lastly, the mint sprig. Not too bad, I don't think. And then lastly, of course, we're gonna place a straw into our Collins glass. And there we have the Pimp's Cup. All right, now that we have our drink, let's give it a taste. Okay. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay. No, so this is my first Pimm's Cup ever. Like, not just the first one I made, but also the first one I've ever even tasted. Very, very refreshing, for sure. Um, I think the mint helps with that, as, as well as the cucumber. You kind of get those uh, light tasting notes in there. But also, um, just the fizziness from the ginger ale as well. Wow, no, this, yeah, this drink would be really good on like a hot summer day. Perfect for like front porch, backyard, poolside, all, all of those. Let me also try this Pimm's number no. one by itself because I've never really obviously tasted this by itself. Definitely smell the uh, herbal notes for sure. And bitter. And bitter, yeah, I get that. And the orange. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that tasting notes that I saw online was is it's pretty spot on. I get the orange, I get bitter, herbal, all of that. And like I said before, um, bitter and herbal pairs greatly with fruit. So this is just a very well balanced cocktail. I mean, it's I can't even really pinpoint anything that's wrong with it. Yeah, definitely by itself, I don't think Pim's number one was it was meant to be enjoyed. Uh it, it can definitely be too bitter, um, and I'm, I'm someone that actually likes bitter drinks, so I definitely would not recommend drinking Pimps Number One by itself. I think it is meant to be enjoyed as part of a cocktail, like we have here, or some sort of punch, if you will. I did see online that another alternative to ginger ale is uh, sparkling lemonade, so that could be another uh, fizzy option of choice for you. But yeah, appearance-wise, I mean, so we went with the more standard approach, the more default uh, garnishes here, which is the skewer strawberry, mint sprig, and cucumber slice, of course. Uh, you can also add a lemon wheel, as well as an orange wheel as well, if you wanna spice it up even more. Um, but 
I think these three alone were just fine. You know, I didn't want to go too overboard with all the different garnishes and stuff. But yeah, overall, Pim's Cup is definitely something that I, I will be sure to add to my, uh, my repertoire of, of cocktails that I make because this is really, really good. And this is just me enjoying it in the kitchen, you know, not even outside in the warm weather. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching this week's episode. Normally, I would say I'll see you next week for the next round, but I will actually be on a cruise with the family next week. So um, it'll probably be the week after at the very earliest, but I'll be sure to make a cruise inspired cocktail of some sort. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.